Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I thought I'd make a last message from Burgundy. I wanted to come and say hello. I, I want to talk about this great solar flash. The, the, it is coming. This great, there are great solar spe spectacular cosmic events that are preparing themselves. Some people will say it's hold back. Some people say we won't need it. We do have to continue to cultivate the light and love of the Christos Sophia within ourselves, regardless of what happened. But, uh, but I think that uh, we won't be able, well, it is possible, the Christ have done it, the Buddha's done it, but to activate the light body within ourselves, the, 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 the crystallization of ourselves, uh, before the great cosmic event, and um, before the, this, uh, I don't think it's going to really happen, we're going to be, we're going to be bound to this third dimensional physical realm until the, the, this great release, and this great solar event will be activated, and then it is, it is, it has been said that the goddess of Venus herself will be coming to activate the collective hologram of the fifth dimension on this planet. And, um, and then we'll be able to move on to something else. A lot of people will leave because they, they, they won't, they've done their time here and uh, we'll have to accept that. There is, there is Wesak coming, just like the, all the moons, the, 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 sol, the, the lunar events in May will be, uh, will be a prelude uh, to, to this great celestial event. It is preparing for this great solar event, it has been, it has been uh, communicated. And so, so we do need to continue to prepare ourselves and to clean up, to clear up, to, to purify ourselves. For, for everything exists within the field of consciousness of the Creator, of the Prime Creator. And, and so, so it's like we have to continue to do the love of God is within and without. We just need to tune in, to learn more and more, to tune in, to let go of all the limitation we have and judgment we have upon ourselves or, the, or others, to move into the state of divine grace. And uh, and very soon the, after the, after this great event, the, the, the first contact w will come, and the, and then the, all the beings that communicate through channel will be able to come down in a plasmic body to, to communicate directly with us. They won't need the channeler, although there is always a higher self to commune and communicate with. We have to understand what we think we become. So our beliefs is very important. Our beliefs is what we, is a sort, the thoughts that keeps coming that we keep repeating ourselves. It's what we believe. It is our core belief. And our beliefs are made real. Whatever we believe, we become. Whatever we feel, we make real. So, the, so it's like what we, we, we have to, to, the deeper we feel it, the, the, the more, the more real it becomes. And the more we feel something, the closer we are to it. And what we can conceive, we can make real. If we cannot imagine it, if we cannot dream it, if we can dream it or imagine it, we can make it real. It's like there is no, otherwise we couldn't dream it, we couldn't imagine it, whether it is in the third, fourth, or higher dimension. But it, it all will happen as eternal being. We are cultivating just as much as material career, physical career, this like the time of an incarnation. But our soul is very also implicated in our immortal ascension career. So, so it, it is a process. The, all the revelations that we expect are coming. They're already there in truth. They've already been introduced in the consciousness of humanity. I see it in, in the movies, Hollywood movies and series, fantastic science fiction. A lot of it is the truth that will be... A, a, people have to accept it as fiction before they are introduced to the reality of it. But it's like a soft revelation. And just as Shakespeare in Hamlet used to say, Horatio, I tell you, the, there are more things in the universe than all our dreams and our philosophy combined. The truth of the universe is far greater than all of the imagination and all the dreams and the projection that we have, both within the light and the darkness. So, so a lot of it will come, will come to be revealed. Uh, uh, there is a lot of light agents of the light in all spheres of society, within the political realm, the financial realm, within the medias, within every strata of society. And there is a lot of people that are awakening. They don't know they are agents of the light, but they know that they're being, they've been manipulated, lied to, and controlled. And they want to change that because they don't want their children of the next generation to have to deal with that. So there is like the great armies of heaven are being... Uh, are being um, uh, uh, organize them from, from the higher planes and then the cavalry is going to come, the galactic will come to seal the deal. But uh, for now, it's like uh, th there is a, th they're realizing, a lot of people are realizing of the dark agenda of control and the manipulation, the corruption. So, so, and, and so they, they, they want to act. They don't always know what to do. So information will come and coordination will come. There are millions of souls awakening. Huh? Uh, so... Um, so, so it's like uh, uh, 
the, the, a lot of even atheists and they have moral principles people that do want a, to do, do on the highest good of all you don't need to believe in any form of spirituality to have moral principles but um, because the whole system is based on the debt slavery system the babylonian debt slavery system the central bank put the, the, the states the, the nations in slavery to a debt that never existed and and then the, the states put they all their population in slavery through the, the the taxation system which are most of them criminals this, the, all those systems are criminal. So, but it, we, and it will all crumble down. It, it cannot last forever. It is a Ponzi scheme in many ways. But the Nesara Jesara will come to, 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 to supplant it because we do not want the collapse of society. That is the dark plans to collapse society, but not the light wants to, to have a continuation where the population won't be hurt. The, the more uh, the more awakened we are, the more we are interested in serving the one, serving the creator, serving the planet, and awakening humanity. Yeah? Yet it's a, step by step we we're, we're coming to realize more and more of the the connection to the source, and, and it's like on all dimensions there is always more of the unity of source to be discovered. Personally, I'm experiencing some very deep karma with this soul person, this person, a deep karma. I'm, I must have done a wrong in a past life because I'm really, really like, it's like I, I, I cut out the relation on the outside, but it's still like being, uh, being very, very uh, painful. It's like a constant sorrow and a constant uh, exposition to deep pain and all kinds of things. So, and I can brush it aside, so I have to de deal with it. <clears throat> eventually, accept love unconditionally and, and eventually will be transmuted. I hope. <laughs> well, there will be a resolution in some level. Even, even I'm sure whatever happened was uh, was was meaningful and it was powerful. It revealed to me many past lives that I had with this person. So we'll see what happened. And uh, I guess we'll both go our own way now. But uh, so I, I hope you I hope you're having a good day. I hope you you're going through it. Yeah, it's pouring rain outside. I have to go get some things, but I, I don't know where it is. It's like a few miles away, and it's like and it's pouring down rain. So. I don't know if I take a chance later on. Um, I thank you so very much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I thank you so much for your donations. I'm going to pull a few cards. The Observer of the Day from the Wisdom Cards, from the Wisdom Oracle. It is the time of the nap. It is about resting, recuperating, preparing ourselves for the action that is coming. What, what we need to, the highest wisdom is the thinker, is to have clear plans in relationship to what we do. When the door opens, we need to be ready to move on on a moment's notice. What we need to understand is the regeneration, to, to allow ourselves to, <clears throat> to regenerate our energy. What we need to do is nothing better than your home, is to continue to cultivate the sense of well-being within your body and your environment and within your life, to imagine the state of grace where everything is fulfilled, when there is abundance and grace on all levels within our life. And the outcome will be peace. So we continue to cultivate this sense of peace. I'm going to take a look from the Akash perspective. Sing a song that talks about letting it be. <laughs> it's like, no, the, <clears throat> yeah, well, the observer of the day is forgiveness. I have to forgive this person for letting me down, or I have to forgive her for whatever she, all that she's putting me through. But it's forgiveness in general, forgiving ourselves and the world. I'm always I'm looking at it from perspective. The highest wisdom is the Greco-Roman. To regain our power, to regain the, the Greco-Romans, are extraterrestrial from Cassiopeia, they, they were very empowered. <laughs> they were really coming from a higher cycle. And right now, they, they're working as forces from the astrology, from the, the, other, the higher planes, the planets. And they're all working for the one now. They're not trying to be worshipped or anything like that. What we need to understand is the wish. We, we made some wish, some soul plans, and we have no choice. We won't escape it. We have to deal with whatever karma we have in order to liberate it, transmute it, in order to be free. What we need to do is the scribe or the writer. I'm very eager to start writing my book. You have to take notes, take, uh, uh, document your experience. And the outcome is living or traveling. Well, I'm believing tomorrow. But there is a great shift that is coming. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I give, we do want to get ready. I hope this solar flash the, in this month of May should be a preparation. This Wesak moon will be very powerful in preparing, preparing the, the, the consciousness of humanity for this greater energy that will be coming down. And I'm going to finish with this song. It's, it's a song and then pull a few cards. It's called Let It Be. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, 
Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness she is standing right in front of me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. <clears throat> Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. And when the broken-hearted people living in the world agree, there will be an answer, let it be. For though they may be parted, there is still a chance that they will see. There will be an answer, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. And when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. Shine until tomorrow, let it be. I wake up to the sound of music, Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be, and let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be, and let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Maybe I should call on Mother Mary. Maybe she, maybe the goddess will be able to assist me more than uh, can be extra assistance in my integration process. I keep uh, hearing, well, that's a shame. Well, that's a shame. Well, that's a shame. So it's like, sorry. It's like, what, what can I do about it? The, the, the observer of the day is clairvoyance. Soon clarity, more clarity will come. So, because whenever we get clarity about something, there is new things that have been coming up. It's like we have so much within our energy field to, to deal with to, before we can reach that point of total freedom. And so, so do not just be perseverant, courageous, and patient. The highest wisdom is the accomplishment. There is so much we've accomplished already. What we need to understand is patience, to let things unfold naturally. What we need to do is continue to cultivate forgiveness for ourselves and others. And the outcome will be compassion for the, the universe. God is mercy. Uh, do not forget God is mercy. He will allow us to go through so much, but at the end, he will, he will definitely... Um, He will definitely, he has the last cards, and so sometimes I feel like I'm really eager to be, to, to see the end of this incarnation, to understand all the, because so much has been going on within my spiritual complex in this lifetime that I'm very curious and eager to see all the ins and outs of things, but then the, the, I'm sure there is much more in this, this incarnation before I have to, to surrender my body. To, so we'll see, and to, to continue to cultivate compassion, to be good to yourself, to do good things, or to do good around you, and to, to for, for whenever we do good to, to other people, it's not, it's not like we're trying to, to buy back some karma, but it, 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 it will definitely, unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, and good deeds around us will, will, uh, will definitely balance out whatever karma that we may be unsuspecting, that we may still have. Huh? So, <coughs> I wish you a wonderful day, thank you so very much, and uh, Talk to you later. Namaste.